The following chemical energetics question uh, deals with the enthalpy, the definitions of different enthalpy changes. And the question states that in the table below, uh, plus means that this type of standard enthalpy change can only have a positive value, which means endothermic, minus means that the type of standard enthalpy change can only have a negative value, which means exothermic or energy is being released. Plus minus means that I, it, it could be either positive or negative values are possible. So it could be endothermic or exothermic. And he's asking which row is correct. So the first one uh, that's given is the standard enthalpy change of atomization. Now, according to the definition of enthalpy change of atomization, you're going to form one mole of gaseous atom from its constituent elements. So whenever you form one mole of, uh, so I'm going to I'm going to take examples, uh, do a few examples of the enthalpy change of atomization. Uh, let's say we're talking about the enthalpy change of atomization of hydrogen. So you're going to form one mole of gaseous hydrogen atom from its constituent element, which should be in its standard state. And hydrogen is, the element hydrogen is generally in the state of H2. It's a diatomic molecule. Uh, and I am going to balance this. So whenever you have to form uh, one mole of gaseous atoms from its constituent elements, you have to break bonds. It only involves the breaking of bonds. No bonds are formed. You're forming gaseous atoms. No bonds are formed. So only bond breaking is happening. So only bond breaking occurs, which means that it's always going to be endothermic so it's always always endothermic atomization enthalpy of atomization is always endothermic it would always need energy hence this atomization would always be positive moving to the next one which is enthalpy change of formation enthalpy change this enthalpy change of formation is uh, when one mole of a substance is formed from its constituent element so let's talk about formation so one mole of a substance is formed from its constituent element. For example, I have I have uh, H2O, one mole of H2O liquid uh, is formed from its constituent element, which would be hydrogen. And the element should be in the standard state and oxygen, which is in the state of O2. And if I balance this, it's going to be half O2. And the standard state of oxygen is gas, of hydrogen is also gas. So if you look at this reaction of enthalpy change of formation as, as an example, you would notice that in this reaction, it requires you need you need to break the bonds of hydrogen and oxygen uh, molecules, and then you have to reform new bonds. So this reaction involves both bond breaking and bond formation. So both bond breaking, which is endothermic, and bond formation, which is exothermic, is involved in enthalpy of formation. Now, since both are involved, so it depends if bond breaking requires more energy compared to bond formation, which is releasing energy, the overall reaction is going to be exothermic. If bond breaking needs lesser energy and bond formation releases more energy, then the overall reaction would be exothermic. So formation, this enthalpy change of formation, standard enthalpy change of formation could be both positive or negative. It could be plus or minus it. So uh, since both are involved. And the last one is, uh, the last one that he's talking about is the enthalpy change of solution. Now, enthalpy change of solution is exactly the same as well. Now, when you have an enthalpy change of solution, what happens is that you dissolve one mole of a substance. For example, you have NaCl, one mole solid. You dissolve it in water, in aqueous, and it dissolves and dissociates. The ionic compound dissociates and Cl minus one aqueous. Now, when you look at the enthalpy change of solution carefully, one mole of a solid is dissolved in water, completely dissolved in water. That's the energy change. Enthalpy of solution would be the energy change when one mole of any substance is dissolved in water. Now, if you look at this reaction, this reaction also involves bond breaking and bond formation because initially you would have to break the bonds in, uh, for example, NaCl is an ionic lattice, which means they have strong po um, ionic bonds between positive and negative ions. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get rid of the bonds in NaCl. You need to break this lattice. And once this lattice is broken, you're going to form bonds with water molecules. Hence, this also involves both bond breaking and bond breaking and bond formation plus bond formation. So again, the question is if bond breaking 
needs more energy and bond formation releases lesser energy that means that the overall enthalpy of solution would be positive uh, vice versa if uh, bond formation releases more energy and bond breaking consumes less energy then the overall reaction would be exothermic so according to this uh, based on our definitions the enthalpy of atomization is going to be always always positive the enthalpy change of formation could be positive it could also be negative whereas the enthalpy of solution is also it can be positive it can also be negative so according to this the correct option is going to be option option b